everyone! My name is Marianne Dubuc and I'm an author and illustrator and I'm going to read to you one of my stories. This is an imagination online video. So I was invited to read one of my books and I chose this one. It's called Little Cheetah's Shadow. It's a book I wrote in French because I usually speak French and it's called L'Ombre de Petit Guépard and this is the English version published at Princeton Architectural Press. And here is the story. So I'm going to show you the cover so you see that this is Little Cheetah, the main character of the, of the book. And I had been wanting to make a book with a cheetah in it for a very long time because cheetahs are really cool. They're the fastest animal running on earth. And also I really, I, I think they're a lot of fun to draw because of the spots and of the stripes on the tail. So I had fun with this book. So I'm going to show you the first page of the book is a bit special because you know, sometimes there are picture books with that have no words in them. It's a wordless picture book. And those are my favorite kind of book because then when there's no words in the book, you have to decide what happens. It's, you're writing the story yourself when you're reading it. So I like it because every time someone different reads a book, they, they have a different idea. They have a different story. And so in this book, I put words in my book. But for the first page, there are no words and this means that you get to take your time and kind of try to guess or decide what happens in here so let's do it together what do you think where do you think you we are is it uh, hmm, I think we're in a house we're in a house yeah and it's probably little cheetah's house right there because for one he's in there right there and also if I look on the wall I see that there's a small frame with his picture in it so I think we're at Little Cheetah's house. And I think that maybe he likes to read books because there's one right there, another, another one right here. And also there are plants, so maybe he likes plants, likes nature. And um, what is he, is he doing? Is he sleeping? No. He seems to be looking for something. He's on the floor with his flashlight open and he's looking under the couch. Hmm. Maybe he lost something. I don't know. Let's see what's written right here. It says, Little Cheetah had lost something. He lost something. That's why he's looking everywhere. And he hasn't found, found it in his house because he, he came out. And now he's looking far, far away like this. And also, he, he still has his flashlight. So I guess he hasn't found what he was looking for. Hmm. He's sitting on the bench. He looks a bit sad. Hmm. But Bea, the, the firefly, comes by and says, hmm, hello little cheetah, what are you looking for? And little cheetah answers, I lost my shadow. He lost his shadow? Have you ever lost your, cha your shadow? Do you think it's even possible to lose a shadow in real life? Hmm, I don't think it is, but that's the, the good thing. In stories, you can do whatever you want. So I decided that in this book, little cheetah has lost his shadow and he's very sad. Have you seen it? Oh, why? Of course I've seen it. It's on the top of the tree. It's, sitting, it's been there all morning. Oh, thank you, says Little Cheetah. And he climbed to the tree to join Little, Ch little Shadow. And she's right there. Look, she looks sad or maybe angry. I don't know. And you see, for this book, I had to draw a shadow. And it wasn't just a shadow. It had to be a shadow that can talk, that can move. It was a bit hard. I tried many ways and this is the way I found that was the best for me. You see, we can see a bit that it's a bit transparent. We can see the leaves of the tree through little shadow. It looks also maybe like a, a small ghost, maybe, but it's a shadow. And so, little cheetah gets to the top of the tree and sees little shadow and he says, Why did you run away? And little shadow, a uh, little, uh, yeah, little shadow explains. She says, You always get to go first and you always get to decide where we go and every time you let the door catch on my tail <gasps> that's not very nice oh, la, la. oh that doesn't sound nice at all says little cheetah from now on you can go first Oops. and little shadow is very happy She's the, f she's the one who goes first and little cheetah is happy too because he gets to 
<clears throat> watch the butterflies and take his time and everyone is very happy and it's a beautiful day. Oh, could we stop at Boo Boo's Bakery? asks Little Cheetah. I'd like to buy some bread for breakfast. And Little Shadow happily agrees. But as they leave the bakery, Little Shadow lets the door close on Little Cheetah's tail. Ouch! cries Little Cheetah. <gasps> Excuse me, says Little Shadow. Little Shadow, she didn't do it on purpose. But it hurts a lot, says Little Cheetah. And he now understands why Little Shadow has been upset. But I didn't even think about it, says Little Shadow, who now understands why Little Cheetah never thought about it before either. Hmm. And Little Cheetah and Little Shadow decide that maybe the best solution would be to walk one next to each other. No one in front, no one in the back both equal. Good idea, they say, and they're really happy and they're going home. They're going through the village, meeting Mr. Frog and the little baby bunny right there. And they're almost home when they get to a tunnel. Hmm. They get to a tunnel and little Shadow stops and she doesn't want to go in. She doesn't want to move. She says, no, I can't go in. Do you have an idea why she can't go into the tunnel? What happens when you go in the tunnel? And when there is no light, do you have a shadow? Shadows can't exist without light. So she doesn't want to go in. She doesn't want to disappear. She says, oh no, in the dark, I disappear. So she doesn't want to go in. Hmm. But they have to go in because they have to go home. What could they do? Do you have an idea? Hmm. What could they use that would help them to go through the tunnel without it being all dark? Do you have an idea? Do you remember? Look right here, little Cheetah, he still has his flashlight in his bag, so they can go through. So little Cheetah goes in front, he opens up his little flashlight, turns it on, and he says to little, uh, little Shadow, stay close to me, don't let go. And little Shadow closes her eyes, and she, hol she holds on, on little, onto little, I'm sorry, she holds on uh, to little Cheetah, and together they cross the darkness. And once they're, they went through the tunnel, they're home. And as they go in, little Cheetah holds the door for little Shadow and says, please come in. And they're home. And it's the same page as the beginning, you see? It's the same page, but it's a bit different because a lot of, a lot of things have moved, right? The book what, that was on the table right there, well, it's on the floor. And there's the bread they ate the bread with jam and with lemonade and they've been playing cards and I think they're really happy and little cheetah has put his flashlight away because he doesn't need it anymore and they're really happy and at night when it's time to go to bed little cheetah leaves a light on for little Sh little shadow so it doesn't go all dark good night little shadow sleep tight little cheetah they're happy and this is my story they learn to take care of each other because they hadn't thought that their actions might have an impact on the other one and might not make him happy. So now they're better friends. And there's something I want to show you in the book. You remember, this is the first page of the book that I showed you where we see little Cheetah's house. And there's something different when we get to the end of the story and we go back to his house. Tons of things have changed place, but there's one thing that hasn't moved but it's very different. I'm going to show it to you. So, you remember there was a small hanging on the on the on the the wall with a portrait of little cheetah. And at the beginning of the book, little cheetah, he lost his shadow. So he's all alone and see in the in the little hanging, he's all alone. But look at the end of the book what happens. He found little sh little shadow and she's there with him in the book. You see? So, at first there is no, there's only little cheetah, and then little shadow is right there. That's something I like to do in my books. I like to hide things, small details in the images, so that you get to discover them and think, "Ha! Ah, now I'm really good. I found a small secret detail in the in the in the page." So that's how it is. I thought maybe I would show you how I draw my cheetahs. 
So I'm gonna stop this video, change my camera, and here I'm gonna show you how I draw little, little cheetah. Right there. So, see you soon. So I'm back, and here I have little cheetah, and I have my paper and my pencil, and I'm gonna show you how I draw little cheetah. So, I always start with the ears. I don't know why, that's why where I like to start with little cheetah. And once I've done the ears, I can do the rest of the face like this. And I like to do the nose because the nose helps me to see where the eyes should be so that it doesn't look very weird. So the eyes are going to go right here and I'm going to make them um, a bit close because he's laughing so much. He's so happy to be in your drawing. So that's why I made his eyes almost closed and he's going to be walking around so I'm gonna make his one of his legs walking like this and the other one is gonna be right here walking like this now I have to go up and I should leave some space to do one arm and one of his arm is gonna be like this standing up because he's very very happy see the other one is gonna be right here and he's saying, hi, I'm so happy to be in your drawing. And this is the tail. I'm going to make a shadow here. And he's, there's one shadow here because he, his uh, foot is still on the floor. But this one has, hasn't touched the floor yet. So it's the shadow on the floor right there. And I'm going to add some grass, a bit of grass. So we see where the floor is. And now I have to make my favorite part of the cheetah, which is spots. I like to make the spots. So I have to make them one by one. But as I draw them, it's like little cheetah comes to life. And you know, for every book that I make, I always like to draw my character a few times in many different positions. So I know I can draw him in my book in every way I need to to tell the story so I have to practice a lot at, at first and once I, I think I have it I got it then I can start making the whole book and one of the things I learned as I decided to use a cheetah in one of my books is that they do have spots everywhere but on their tails there are spots almost to the end of the tail, but the very end of the tail is actually striped. There are stripes there. That's something I really like about cheetahs. There are some spots missing here on the arm, like this, and in his face too. And I don't make them everywhere on his face because I like to leave the his mouth, eyes, and nose, uh, easy to see in his face. So I just make the spots all around his face like this. There you go. And I make the inside of the, of the, uh, the ears. And I'm gonna add another spot here. So this is how I draw little cheetah. We could add a bit of fur on his belly like this. And this is little cheetah. Maybe he could say, I am little cheetah. Yay, cheetah. There you go. Ta-da! There you go. This is little cheetah. And that's how I try. Uh, you see, I used a color, color, colored pencil. I'm sorry. It's uh, These are the ones I really like to use because, because they're soft enough when I draw. I like the way they work on paper. So, I usually also use watercolor to make my the colors in the book, which is paint. So, this is how I draw Little Cheetah. I hope you liked my video and my story and hope you are all very well and happy reading and discovering tons of new books. Have a nice day.